Hello everyone, my name is Paper Napkin, and in this video I'm going to be showing off my Minecraft Tekkit server. This is a server I host myself and I've been playing on with a good friend of mine, Mr. Sanium Games. Some of you may know him already, he has a YouTube channel, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, we've worked together before and I'm sure we're going to work together in the future just because we are pretty good friends. And uh, yeah, I figured you guys might want to see some of the stuff that we built. Uh, he did have a video similar to this, but it was for a single player server and uh, quite a few people enjoyed that, so I figured you guys might want to see this as well. Uh, so for those of you who don't know what Tekkit is, pretty much it's a gigantic and fantastic mod pack that adds a lot of stuff to the game. As you can see, I have some pretty cool items in here. I've got a sapphire axe, a ruby sword, there's all sorts of new ores, there's lots of machines you can build, and there's pipes and whatnot, so you'll see some of that once we get inside. Uh, I just kind of spoiled where our base is, but uh, there's even volcanoes. And for some reason, there's a lot of volcanoes around this starting area, but uh, it's a really good source of lava, so we're not going to complain. Uh, here we have our little first night shack where we do some of our mining. There's no roof, obviously, so we can see if it's daytime or nighttime. But uh, yeah, we figured this wasn't very good, so we needed to migrate over to something else. So naturally, we wanted to go to this mountain, and it actually worked out pretty nice. There's a pretty good hollow in there, and we kind of hollowed it out a little bit. But uh, here, this is our, our hydro facility. As you can see, we got some crazy stuff in here. If you've never seen Tekka before, this is probably blowing your mind. Uh, we got like copper cables going into battery boxes. Uh, these are some pumps, redstone pumps. That one's not working. That's not good. But pretty much what it is, it's sucking up water, converting it to energy, putting it in the batteries. And then on the other side, the batteries are connected to some other machineries. And up here, that's connected to, I think we have some solar panels up there. Let's go take a look. It's been a while since I've been on. But uh, if we come over here, we have some macerators, which pretty much you put something in there, it'll grind it up into dust. So if you have an ore, it'll turn it into two iron dust, which can then be a bar each. So you pretty much double your um, recovery in terms of metals and stuff. And these are pipes, so you can pump them into chest. If we take a look in here, we just got random garbage that I probably left in here and it's nothing in there. Okay, well. Usually we use this for bulk uh, macerating, obviously. Um, I don't know if we can see. Oh, there they are. We do have some solar panels on here just because the hydro power wasn't cutting it. And I don't know if we'll be able to get up there. Oh, there we go. These are what the solar panels look like. Pretty nice looking. Uh, we've got more up there, but I'll show you those later. So continuing onwards, if we head over here, we have these trees which look like they're giving us the middle finger. They're not. Don't worry. If you're offended, I'm sorry. But these are rubber trees. And they, let's see if we can find some. They produce rubber, which you need to make a lot of the stuff in this new mod. Oh, there it is. See, that's what it looks like. If you have a tap on you, I don't. Anyways, you can tap that, get some rubber. You can also cut it down and then put that in another machine. And it'll extract some rubber. Some cactus here. We got a lot of reed. I don't know why we have so much. Oh, 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 oh this is cool. Here we have a pumpkin farm, but it's actually automated. Oh, yeah. I did that myself. I'm not really good at redstone, as you can see, it kind of glitches out a little bit, but it works. Gives us what we need. Cheap source of food. And if we head over here, we have our <laughs> we have a really small little wheat farm. We really need to expand it, maybe automate it. I don't know how to do that, but uh, yeah, we don't get a lot of wheat from that. So as I mentioned, our, our base is in there. We could go the long way up, which is what we were doing for the longest time, but then Matt, uh, Mr. Sending Games, came up with this crazy uh, minecart system. So pretty much you just go in here, push the button, and it propels you all the way up into the middle of the mountain. And one of the things is, with the mod, the railway tracks have been changed in what you need to build them, so it actually took us a long time to figure it out. It was kind of annoying. But yeah, this is, uh, this is our humble abode. We have our <laughs> queen-size bed here. We, uh, we sleep together, just because uh, it's pretty cold in here. It's, I mean, it's a stone cave. Got some nice glass lighting, got a glass floor up there. Uh, let's go check out over here. This is pretty much our little initial, I don't know, storeroom. We have a nice little silver chest here with lots of different ingots. As you can see we have copper, we have tin, silver, refined iron, there's even uranium in this game, and emeralds, sapphires, and rubies like I mentioned. There's a lot of stuff to build in this game and if you don't know what you're doing, it's a lot of fun because you're just trying to figure out all these different recipes. Uh, here we just have random stuff. Um, we have a little bit of a garbage pit in here to some lava. Come out here, we have a little bit of a deck. 
And then this is naturally occurring, this perfectly square patch of grass over here. We're still not sure what we're going to do with it. Maybe like a helipad or something, but uh, man, that's a huge volcano. That's, oh. But yeah, this is pretty much well, almost the top of the base. But uh, I'll show you the actual top later. So let's go back inside. I thought about taking the staircase all the way down, but uh, you know, the rail cart system kind of makes it obsolete. So if we continue over here, we have two machines. This is the compressor. So you can put stuff in there and it'll put a lot of pressure on it, turn it into something else. Uh, this is the extractor, which I mentioned you can put rubber wood in. Uh, really useful, probably the most useful machine that we have here. Bunch of random stuff in here, as you can see. A lot of this, if you've never seen tech, it's probably really confusing, so don't worry too much about it. We got a lot of wood in there. I like wood. We head over here to the second floor. Uh, not much going on here. We have our enchanting table, so we can do some enchantments. Uh, we also have our da -da -da -da, energy matter conversion machine thingy. This thing is just awesome. See how we have wood in here? If we were to put something in, like a copper, which has an EMC of 85, it'll pop out 85 worth of wood, because it's actually, it costs 8 each. It took a lot of materials to build this, a lot of diamonds, which we had a heck of a hard time finding, but uh, now that we have it, really, really useful. Uh, continuing onwards, actually, which way should we go first? Um, let's go up top first. Yeah, we'll see if the best part for last. If we go up top, we have our solar panel arrays, and I'm stuck. So they cost a lot of materials to make as well, so we're still kind of filling them in. And you can actually take, I think, eight of these and make them into a more efficient solar array, and then you take eight of those, and you can make another one, and then you can take eight of those. It's crazy how many there is, and when you think about how many resources you have to put into this, it's just, it's mind-blowing. But this is pretty much the, the main power generating station for all the machines that we have in our building. Um, Where's the stairs? I'm sure there's a way to get out there. Here it is. If we go in here, as you can see, it's kind of chaotic. We've got tin cable coming in from the solar panels, feeding into copper, which feeds into these battery boxes. And all these different types of cable, it's crazy. You don't know which one to use. Each one has different properties, so it can take a certain amount of voltage out. Um, after a certain amount of blocks, like I think for copper, after four or five, you start losing voltage. So Ideally, you want fiber octa cable. We don't have that. Uh, here, we just kind of have something. I think we were still working on that. Oh, no, wait. I think we had our... Oh, we had like a mining drill going here. That's right. Probably patch that up later. But uh, yeah, this is where we store all our energy. As you can see, we have 40,000 in here. 40,000. 40,000. It should all be full. I don't think any of the machines are actually running. But uh, let's go take a look. I mean, so far this is working pretty well, but at uh, at nighttime, because there's no sun, obviously we're not getting all the energy that we need. So we were looking at getting some geothermal energy. Uh, don't look at that yet. So we actually have a lava generator or a geothermal generator. It was connected to a lava pool way, way, way down below the map, but uh, I think it's dried up because it's nothing there. And uh, I think if we take a look, yeah, if we look down here. Underneath the floor, we actually have some more battery boxes and whatnot. Um, yeah, is there anything in here? Oh yeah, well, slowly generating energy, so that's good. So it's still got a little bit of lava in there, not a lot, but uh, let's go ahead and patch this up before I forget. Do do do. Oh what? Oh whatever. I'll go back later. This is the piece de resistance. This is our automated refinery furnace extravaganza thing. So pretty much, you put random ores in here, goes out the back of this pipe, it's pumped by a, a red pump down there you can see, so we don't have to do anything, pumps it into the macerator, which turns it into two ore dust, which then get pumps out into the electric furnace, which will then automatically smelt it, you don't need to use coal or anything like that because it's hooked up to the solar panels, and then the finished bars get pumped into this chest. Obviously, there's nothing in there. I've already cleaned it out, but uh, pretty much what you can do, you can take huge stacks, you know, stacks of 64 of every type of ore, put it in here, turn away, come back later, bam, all your bars are in here. You don't have to do a single thing. Really, really cool, really necessary if you want to do some crazy stuff later on and attack it. Like, I think you can get nuclear power plants and whatnot, but yeah, 
If you enjoyed what you liked in this video, uh, maybe leave a comment, uh, give it a like. If there's enough interest, I might think about doing an actual Tech It Let's Play or a series of some sort. Still haven't quite decided on how I would do that. Probably get some other people in on it so it would be more of a cooperative kind of series, but we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, my name is Paper Napkin. Take it easy, folks.